hey guys so this video i'm just going to be sharing with you how i got my apartment here in canada and this is relative depending on where you are you know yes so let's get right into this video so when i came into canada my plan or before i came into canada my plan was to stay in the school hostel so my plan was that when i was coming into canada i was going to like stay in the school hostel and you know settle for a while because that's what they usually would recommend students to do so when you're balanced when you know how the system works you know here and there you can start searching for an apartment so i booked um an apartment and i i shall booked the school's um hostel it took a long time for them to approve i did not know that i thought if you book they just give it to you but it takes a long time so sure i booked the stuff later 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 after month they approved it boom i was supposed to leave the school was supposed to pick me up from the airport not until ethiopian airline which was the airline that i used decided to you know do like they're flowing there from the village then my flight for some reason got delayed and i had to tell the school not to worry because so i'd already booked the time that i told the school to come and pick me but because my flight got delayed and i don't want them to come to the airport and i'm not there and i'm like oh don't worry i can't even move in that day again because you pick a moving date now my flight got delayed i cannot even like move in when i thought i was going to move in so i had to cancel the old plan and found somewhere else to stay so after a while what i did like my present apartment that i stay which is the main reason why i'm making this video because it literally took me a long time to get an apartment even though some people say it's quite easy so people get apartments like before coming into canada but it's different from for some of us so let me tell you how i got this apartment because all this story is already long and some of you want to skip this video don't try it so how i got this appointment was through facebook marketplace i get a lot of things about facebook marketplace but now i'm beginning to understand and enjoy the benefits so i went online and searched and searched because i was looking for like apartment within my budget how much was my budget it was like very small and every apartment i saw was like way above my budget way way above my budget i am a student i don't have that money I was way above my budget basically and but i kept searching and i kept telling people so that's one thing you see something about me is that if i need something if i'm looking for something i'm not going to keep quiet about that thing i'm going to tell everybody like i will not limit i will not limit it to like some certain kind of people like i'm not going to use my height to size you up and say hmm let me tell this person or not i'm literally going to tell like everybody i know because help is definitely going to come from somewhere and who knows where nobody so that was what i did like i kept telling a lot of people about it then one of my friends told me about one apartment at the time and i'm like mm, i'm not too sure about it then i let it go now two months maybe two months fast forward to like a month after I was still scrolling on Facebook Marketplace and I saw this apartment that my friend told me about. Then I said, okay, let me just check. Then I checked this ap apartment. When I checked the apartment, it was giving what it should give. This apartment would not break the bank, would not make me go and break the bank to pay the money. So basically, you just have to... Facebook Marketplace is a big deal. Like facebook marketplace is somewhere you want to try like go and try like there are things there apart from apartments there are things you can buy on facebook marketplace but then you have to be sure that it is authentic because there are a lot of scammers out there so another thing if you don't want to use facebook marketplace some um apartments i went to see a few apartments actually before i got this one and how did i get the apartment some went through facebook marketplace and some was just google so because i'm extra and i was tired like i was literally tired and i was looking for somewhere to stay what i did was that i went on google and searched for apartment within my vicinity within my area i saw some couple like i saw a couple of apartments i went and checked but 
it was going to make me break the bank, which I was not ready to do. But those houses were giving what they should give. Those houses were really giving what they should give. But I did not take those houses because I don't have the money to pay. Do you get? So that's what I'm trying to say is that you can use Facebook Marketplace Kijiji too. You can use Kijiji even helps you to sort of like choose the amount like your range range of price that you can pay then they will give you like list of houses that are within that price range if you want two washrooms they'll give you houses within that price range with two washrooms or one bedroom you know they just make it easier so you should try ask people like talk to people some 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 vacancies some houses you don't see online is when you ask someone that's when they tell ah this house is it's free or they did not put it on facebook marketplace and you see those houses that they don't even use to put on facebook marketplace those are those houses that are like top notch top notch so you might want to try and yes that's how i got my apartment and i've been so content so you might really want to try it out and you're gonna thank me later bye